Hello, what's up, and what's happening? Welcome back to yet another NCAA 06 Dynasty Mo featuring the SAU Bulls. In today's episode, we're going to be taking on Hawaii, and we're going to be taking on BYU, and these two teams are some of the best offenses in the whole country, man. Their offense is on fire. Their quarterbacks can sling the rock all over the field. they got receivers that can make plays down the field. So this is a chance, though, for us to get a bowl bid, man. If we win this ball game, or if we win one of the two, we are guaranteed to get a bowl game. However, if we drop both of these games, we're going to have to win at Penn State to lock down a bowl bid. So we got to handle business here. We got back-to-back -back home games. We're coming off of a loss versus Georgia. So let's get right into it. So Freeman getting dropped back to pass out of the shotgun. Second to find his man over the middle. And like I said, our defensive backs are going to be tested all throughout this ball game because Hawaii and BYU just have a fantastic passing game. First and 10 from the 23-yard line now. Play fake right there by Freeman. He's going to throw back across the body though to Moore. Moore is going to work his way upfield. Gets brought down by Davis, but he picks up a fresh first and 10. So Freeman looking to pass, headed to the end zone, and that pass falls incomplete, and Hawaii is going to have to set up for a field goal. So we take over. Greg's still at quarterback. We got all types of issues, man. Not only can we, not only are we facing probation in the next couple of years if these kids keep acting up, but our starting quarterback and our starting free safety are still out because they have been breaking rules. They are suspended for this game. They will come back, or at least the free safety will come back versus BYU, but games our starting quarterback won't be back until Penn State. So right here, we're going to drop back the pass. Craig taking a shot deep, and McPhee gets that catch. Inside the five, down to three, y'all, and then we get the ball to Jones, and Jones gonna bumble and stumble his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls, and we're gonna tie this thing up. Actually, we're gonna take the lead, excuse me. So it's seven to three, but on the ensuing kickoff, on the ensuing kickoff, Vickers to the 10. Vickers breaks a tackle to the 20, crosses the 30, and just like the opening kickoff, he gets another solid kick return. So now Freeman, with pretty good field position, starts to drive off, but look at Lee. And yes, he is a true freshman. This team could be stacked in the next couple of years. I'm looking forward to it, man. But Lee gets the INT right there. He's going to call mom. Hey, mom, you saw that pick? I know. You gave me some good genes, mama. So anyways, man, first then, Tim, we're going to take over, give the ball to Jones. Jones up across the 50. Then he coughs up the football, and we give the ball right back. What is going on? What, this is a game that we're supposed to just handle, man. We, we play good versus Texas A&M. And now Texas A&M is now the best team in the country, ranked number one. What is going on? Freeman over the middle, but get, get, get that thing up out of here. So we take back over first and 10, get the ball to Jones, and Jones bounces to the outside, and he's going to pick up a solid first down. Move, though, change for the Bulls. From the 21, now Craig, shotgun set, fires this one over to LB, makes the catch, and he's going to pick up a gain of about nine. So it's second inches from the 31-yard line. Craig over the middle to McPhee, and McPhee continues to make plays. Our big play receiver, we have to use him early and often. Third and six now, Craig dropping back the pass, and McPhee. He gets open. We're going to find him. Move those chains for the Bulls. Under pressure is Craig, and down he goes. Big time sack right there by the Hawaii front four. And now we are in trouble. Got to set up for a field goal, and the kick is up. And the kick is good. So you know what we do? Tack on to the lead. We make it a seven point ball game. But on the ensuing kickoff, on the ensuing kickoff, Vickers is gone. Crosses the 50. 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Vickers, touchdown Hawaii, and they tied this thing up right before halftime. So special teams is not is not that special for us. It's very special for Hawaii, but not that special for us. And then Spicer gets his hands on the football, but <laughs> coughs it up. And they take right back over. So we look like we might have had this game in our hands, in control, going into halftime. But a kick return to the house, a fumble right there. And now Hawaii looks like they might be able to take the lead. Right there, going to find Vickers over the middle. Not only can he do it on special teams, but he does it as a receiver right there. Picks up a first down. Then going to the outside, going to find his man. Touchdown Hawaii yet again. And like I said, where? Is this ball game going? It looked like we had it in hand. But now we're down by seven. We got about a minute left on the clock and another fumble. But luckily, we are able to hang on to it. So Craig under pressure. 
and down he goes. And that's going to make it fourth and 16. So now Hawaii has a chance to add to the lead. This game is getting out of hand for us. Driving back the passes, Freeman going to find Vickers over the middle, and he makes another clutch reception. Now he can go to the option game, going to pack then pitch this one back, excuse me, to the halfback, and he's going to pick up a first down. Another pitch play, this time to the other side, pitches it late down the field, going to pick up a gain of nine. But look at the clock, three seconds, two seconds, and they run the exact same play. That's not going to get you a touchdown to get you a first down. Now, but there's no more time on the clock and she's all happy i don't think she knows football but hey whatever man i'm gonna take it though we're only down by seven could have been a lot worse man we started on fire to start the game but then through the second quarter we had some issues so we can get the ball to jones right there and jones goes nowhere third and nine can we come up clutch drop back the pass is my man craig and craig is gonna find spicer and spicer picks up a big first down move those change for the Bulls. Let's go. From the 47, now first and 10. Craig, he got pressure from the blind side, ran to the front side, and got sacked. Jones, he's going to bounce this one back up the field, but he goes nowhere. So now it's going to be third down. Dropping back to pass is Craig. Looking, looking, taking a shot deep, but Hawaii's like, get that thing up out of here. So they take back over from the 29-yard line, second and six. Freeman with time, throws this one over to the right side to Barnett. And he's going to pick up a solid gain of about nine. So on third and into the play action pass for Freeman with all types of time. But get that thing about here. And the defense comes up big. So we're still in the third quarter here. We're going to get the ball to Jones. Get back to the running game. He's going to pick up a handful of yards. But now it's third down. Third and two. Play action pass. Craig looking. Craig throwing. Mick Fee to the crib. Touchdown Bulls. And just like that, we tie this ball game up. At 17 all. Psych. We don't. We missed the point after. <laughs> so we're down by one. 17 to 16 is the score. But on third and forever, they can't pick it up. So we force a three and out. Now we're going to get the ball to Jones up that gut. And look at him bumbling and stumbling his way downfield for a big first down. So we're down by one. Start of the fourth quarter. We have the ball. Hopefully we have momentum on our side. We're going to do a little receiver reverse to my man McPhee. He's going to pick up a handful of yards, but that's going to make it a third down now. So Craig, looking over the middle of that pass is incomplete, and we would have to settle for a field goal, and we would knock it home, making it 19-17. to Now Freeman going to the left side to Vickers, and this dude Vickers, he has just been a pain in my backside this whole game. Freeman looking, Freeman throwing, and look at that, connects to Vickers in double coverage. What is going on with our pass defense, man? We could really use our true freshman at safety, but hey, he got academic issues. He breaking team rules. He don't know how to handle college life and being a star on campus. I'm just saying, but Freeman taking a shot deep, and Alexander the Great gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawaii. But hey, it's still a two possession game. They're gonna go for two, gonna make it 25 to, to 19, but they can't get it. So it still remains 19 to 23, only down by four. Craig under pressure though, and down he goes. The old line is breaking in front of me. Craig looking, McPhee with another big time catch just short of the first down marker. So on third down, we're looking. Third down, we have time throwing this one though in the double coverage. Not the best decision. And now we're going to do a fake punt. Yeah, it wasn't a good idea. When I was playing it, I was hyped. I was like, I'm about to get this first down, right? But then the backup fullback was supposed to lead the starting fullback through the hole, but he just ran downfield and totally missed his block. But still, not the best decision by me to even go for it, try to fake a punt right there. That was horrible. But anyways, man, they end up scoring a touchdown, so now it's desperate times, and we get sacked. Yeah, now we're down by 11, and we're going the wrong way. Second and 20. Dropping back the pass, and we're going the wrong way. What is going on? Dropping back the pass, and we get sacked in the end zone. Safety for Hawaii, making it a 32-19 to final. That's it. That's all she wrote. We made some mistakes on offense. We didn't always keep you know the train moving in the right direction, but hey... It is what it is. We got to play much better versus BYU because their offense is a lot better than Hawaii's offense. And they have a better defense. It is a flat out better team than Hawaii. But they can put up just as many points that Hawaii did and the defense can stop you on offense. So here we go, man. Another dude, the fullback, starting fullback. 
He's a registered senior, fifth year senior, and you breaking team rules, man. And if you look at the NCAA team interest, it gets bigger. With every time one of our players makes a mistake out there, the NCAA is going to be looking at our program, looking at our players, and they might start to drop the hammer. And I don't want that. We are not USC. We don't get on probation. I'm just saying. We're not USC. Okay, anyways, man, BYU game. We are 5-5. Five five. We still have a chance to get a bowl game, and look at the special teams. It's not special at all. Big time return right there for BYU. Now Macklin drops back the pass, going to find Simmons, and Simmons makes a big time catch. Now they're going to give the ball to the big running back. Look at him bumbling and stumbling his way downfield. Move those chains for BYU. Macklin going to the left side, back to Simmons, and they are already inside of our red zone. What is going on? Second and goal. They give us to Hunter, and Hunter walks his way into the end zone touchdown bring them young and that's gonna make it a seven point ball game so we're down by seven but we can go to McPhee one of the best receivers in the country even though he don't get recognized as one just because we're a small program my man Jones he's gonna have over a thousand yards for the season in this ball game then Henderson gets into the action he picks up the first down so even though we give him a quick score we're trying to answer blow for blow right there we're gonna find Price and he's gonna pick up a nice first down move those chains for the Bulls going over the middle to Spike Spicer and Spicer gets into the action, moving those chains. Craig looking, throwing back the price, and he picks up another big time first down. Clutch reception right there, going to the end zone with the dive and catch. Spicer, whoo, beautiful catch right there. And we're gonna tie this ball game up at seven all. So Macklin and BYU, they take back over, and Macklin, he goes down. Third and 14, Macklin looking. Throwing on third and long. There's a fumble, but we don't recover it. And they get a first down out of it. What is going on? Macklin to the left side. Simmons is just a monster in that slot. I kept on having safeties and linebackers on him. That's my bad. We got to fix that moving forward. Dropping back the pass. Going to connect the dots on another big time third down. That was third and 15 again. From the 33-yard line. Macklin to the air. Going to find Ryan who says, get off me, son. Gets brought down inside the five. Then they give it to the big fullback. Touchdown, bring them young, and we're down by seven yet again. Where is this season going? This is supposed to be the year that we get into a bowl game. That pass gets deflected, goes into the hands of Mitchell. He gets the INT, and the defense has to come right back on the field. But the defense doesn't stand a chance versus BYU. Dropping back the pass, Brown has it. Brown inside the 30, 20, 10 5 touchdown. Bring them young again, and BYU is now up 21 to 7. What is going on? Another pick. Another pick. I don't know what to tell y'all. This season is falling before our eyes, man. Right there, that pass fall is incomplete. So they're going to have to try for a field goal to kick us up. And the kick is no good. So we still have a chance. A minute 50 to go in the first half. We're down by 14. Jones, cross the 40. Whoop, makes a man miss. Cross the 50. Inside the 35. Down at the 31 yard line. Move those chains for the Bulls. Back with Jones. At that guy on the direct snap. He's going to pick up a solid game right there. Third and three now. Can we come up clutch? Looking. McPhee. And not one, not two, but triple covers, baby. Triple. That's three people. Yeah. I know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, Henderson around the outside. He's going to get into the end zone, touch down, Bulls, and maybe this is the start of something good, like a comeback. That's what we need right now, man. So 21-14 to 14, as we go into halftime. Come on, man. We got to get something going. McPhee, he's back there for the kick return. He's going to cross the 20, gets a couple of blocks, finds a lane. Cross the 30, cross the 40, crosses the 50, being chased from the high. Get off, Miss son. Crosses the 20, touchdown, McPhee. I love this kid, man. This dude is a flat out beast. He hit the hole so hard. He was just off to the races. He's not the fastest guy in the world. He got caught from behind, but he was like, get off me. This is my touchdown. This is my moment. But now we go back on defense. And the defense has nobody that is making plays for us. Not nobody. So first and 10 from the 34 yard line. Dropping back the pass, gonna find Ryan. And Ryan, he's gonna pick up another first down. What is our defense doing? First and 10 from the 50. Play action pass. Macklin looking. Throwing to the left side. And Hunter makes the catch. Gets a foot in bounds. And moves those chains for BYU. Macklin looking over the middle. And Ryan makes another catch. What is going on? Hunter in the backfield gets the touchdown. Oh, my gosh. 
All right, man. Down by seven again. Time to get back to the running game, okay? I know that the past game has been kind of shaky, so let's get back to the running game. Let's slow this game down. Up that gut with Henderson. He's going to pick up a gain of about six, maybe seven outs. Third down, they give us to Jones. Jones bounces to the outside. He's not the fastest back, but hey, he has a 1,000 yards on the season, so he can get the job done. Henderson, he's much quicker, a little bit lighter in the butt, if you know what I mean, but he's going to pick up a gain of six right there. So it's second and four from the 39 yard line. Give the ball to Henderson. Up that gut, and it's time to just ground and pound Jones up that guy picks up another first down and that's what I like to see this old school smash mouth football but then it's time to go to the air on third down and McPhee comes up clutch yet again second to go from the three yard line going to McPhee and McPhee ties his ball game up at 28 all that was a huge drive right there by offense third down now for BYU and Macklin gonna take a shot deep and you lying. You lying. That did not just happen. Not that easy. Not that easy. A 80-yard TD pass. It cannot be that easy. So first and 10, we got the ball from 24. Jones breaks the tackle. Gonna fall forward about at the 30-yard line. And you see his numbers over 1,000 yards thanks to this ball game here versus BYU. Henderson up that guy. Picks up the big first down. Now Craig looking to pass. Going to McPhee. If it ain't broke, and it don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And McPhee, he's not broken, so keep on giving that man the ball. The give is to Jones, and Jones, he goes straight up the middle. Picks up a solid game. McPhee on the reverse. Gets crossed the 40. Inside the 30. Down inside the 25, knock out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. Now, Craig, dropping back the pass, gonna find Frazier. And Frazier picks up a first down. Jones around the outside. Yes. We tied this ball game up. We tied this ball game up. Y'all don't know how much I want to make it to a bowl game. Macklin, dropping back the pass and give me that INT with my man McCoy. Does a little spin cycle. Gets inside the 50, down to about the 43 yard line. Give him the 42. Give him the ball to Jones. Jones up that guy. Jones bumbling and stumbling his way downfield for a fresh first and 10. Craig dropping back to pass. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Now we have to trust our defense. And our defense hasn't really been doing anything all day. And look at the bad angle I take with the Graham. Brown gets down the sideline. Gets just up to the 49-yard line. Still in BYU territory. But about to enter our territory on second and 10 from the 49-yard line. Macklin looking to pass. And another nice pass right there. Going to find Simmons again. And he picks up another first down. So it's first and 10 from the 27 now. Looking. Looking is Macklin. With time is Macklin. He's going to find Brown. And Brown picks up a first down. Hunter. Hunter's going to take this one to the right side. and To the left side, excuse me. And he's going to pick up a touchdown. 15-yard TD run right there. Time to believe. Okay? Got to have faith. Faith is believing in what you can't see all the times, man. So here we go. McPhee, big time catch. Move those chains. Drop back the passes. Craig McPhee, I see you, baby. I'm a believer. Let's go. Move those chains yet again. Third down. Craig looking. Craig under pressure. Rolls to the right side. Throws back across his body in double coverage. So, we throw four interceptions with our backup quarterback. Gaines will be back versus the Nittany Lions of Penn State. We got our hands full with next week's game. I believe Penn State is ranked number 21 in the country. So, we got to win that ball game. Nonetheless, though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hi, sauce.